Hi Year 11. So I'm just going to show you your tasks for this week and give you some help with a certain question. So there are 12 questions for you to answer all based on the information in your work pack and this should take you all week. One question, question nine, is using a case study, discuss the opportunities and challenges for development provided by TNCs. Now, we are going to practice checklisting together. We've done it in class. It is when we turn a question into a checklist to help us maximise the amount of results we can get in that question. So I'm going to read through and highlight anything important. The first thing that comes to mind to me is case study. So my checklist, the first thing it's going to include is a case study. Okay, now I've got to think, what is my case study for transnational corporations and development? It is Shell in Nigeria. So that is the case study I'm going to talk about in my exam. So I have to mention that case study, otherwise I'm not going to get a lot of marks. I probably won't get over a level two. The next thing that I think is important, oh, sorry, is to discuss, okay? Discuss. Discuss means to give detail about all things. So we have to give detailed accounts of everything in here so the opportunities the challenges for development tnc's a case study so we need to discuss it we need to give um detailed about it and if it ever says discuss it usually tells us that there are going to be two sides to the story okay the next thing that um i would highlight is opportunities so here i'm thinking about opportunities for development okay because another key thing it says it says for development so we really need to be linking back the opportunities how they um, provide an opportunity for development how they help Nigeria development so how shell helps Nigeria develop okay the next thing for me I can see is challenges okay so I'm going to talk about the challenges for development, which is how Shell um, prevents Nigeria from developing. Because as we said in a discussion, there are two sides to the story. The next thing that's important to highlight is TNCs. Uh, TNCs stands for trans national corporations and the tnc we are talking about in this instance is shell okay so this is my checklist now you can go a step further and use this as a way of planning so you can then add some more to it so for example opportunities i might give myself two opportunities to talk about uh, I'm going to talk about jobs and I'm going to talk about um, taxes, okay? Then challenges, I've got, I'm going to think of two challenges. The first challenge that I can think of that comes to my mind is um, poor working conditions. And the next thing that comes to mind for me is oil spills. Okay, so this provides a basic checklist and also a plan for me answering this question. So what I'm going to do now is show you, um, give you an example of how you might structure some of your sentences. Apologies about this. This is Goggles, my dog, just climbing up everywhere. I'm going to give you a model for how you might structure a sentence about the opportunities or maybe a paragraph about one of the opportunities and one of the challenges for development. So what I'm going to look at is jobs and poor working conditions in these examples. So here we go. 
TMCs, I'm really sorry, I'm just trying to push my dog off my arm so I can type. Um, TNCs provide opportunities for development because, right, because they provide jobs for locals, okay? For example, I'm going to say that Shell provides jobs in oil refineries for locals in the Niger Delta. So I've explained, well, I've given a brief explanation as to why it, or well, how it provides opportunities. I've then given a clear example of how Shell has done that. I've used my case study. So if I go back to my checklist, I can see that I've already done a couple of these things, which is fabulous. I have already talked about Shell. Okay, but something I haven't done, which I need to go back and do, haven't mentioned Nigeria yet, which I need to do. But I did mention the Niger Delta, so that is context for Nigeria. And I've talked about the jobs. Okay. So I've done some of the things. I've also mentioned TNC, so I've done three of the things. Okay. So I'm going to go back to that example I was modelling for you. And add some more detail this is when i'm getting into the explanation explaining why it's an opportunity and you know i'm doing this because i've used the connective because so this is an opportunity because um if locals gain jobs then they can earn a better income to to pay for food which increases their quality of life. However, it doesn't necessarily talk about the development of the country, so I might have to add something. Um, this also increases development because people will pay taxes which the government can invest in services such as education, healthcare and transport which will allow a country to develop. Um, so I there have, if we go back to the top, I have given I have clearly said how TNCs provide opportunities. I've given a specific example using a case study and I have explained that in detail. So I have said TNCs provide opportunities for development because they provide jobs for locals. For example, Shell provides jobs in oil refineries for locals in the Niger Delta. This is an opportunity because if locals gain jobs, then they can earn a better income to pay for food, which increases their quality of life. This also increased development, I can't move this, because people will pay taxes which the government can invest in services such as education, healthcare and transport. Brill, we're then going to do that for a disadvantage. So, a challenge even. TNCs provide challenges for development because... Um, because workers work in poor working conditions for example shell has been accused of abusing human rights in nigerian factories this is a challenge for development for development because um, the workforce may become unhealthy and less likely to contribute to the economy and therefore development. Okay, so again, I've said how, I've given a clear example and explained that. You now need to do this and answer the question. Good luck.